So now we'll talk a little bit about strain gauges. These are strain gauges here, and they work just like resistors. So um, it's hard to see, but they're actually just coiled wire back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And what they do is if they're bent in any way, they are the resistance changes. So the resistance of these things will change. So you will be using a load cell. So this is just a load cell. And underneath this paste here, there are strain gauges. So there are strain gauges embedded underneath the paste. And if this aluminum piece gets bent in any way, that those strain gauges will pick up on those small changes. So this is the load cell you'll be using. And there are four wires coming off this load cell. Now, just to show the schematic of the load cell here, we actually have four strain gauges, and those are denoted by the resistors here. And we will actually be putting three volts into the top here. So with three volts, is connected to the top, and then we have ground attached to the bottom. Now, if this thing's all in balance, meaning that if these resistors are all the same, we should get the same voltage drop across both sides of this bridge. So we'll be reading from here and here. And if it's in its unloaded case, we would expect the voltage here to be the same voltage here. And therefore, if we read the voltages across here, it should be zero. So if you have 1.5 volts here and 1.5 volts here, if we measure across here, the voltage should be zero. So 1.5 minus 1.5. Now, if it's, what, if it's balanced and then you apply a load, the resistance values change. Now, very small resistance value changes here will result in when we measure the voltage across here to read a value other than zero. And that's how this strain gauge circuit works. And this is called a Wheatstone bridge. This is a full bridge, meaning we have four, uh, four different strain gauges attached and we are able to detect very small differences of strain, or in your case, measuring small differences in weight.